Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us say together the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, on this day you opened the way of eternal life to every race and nation by the promised gift of your Holy Spirit. Shed abroad this gift throughout the world by the preaching of the gospel, that it may reach to the ends of the earth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A prayer composed by Lutherans and Episcopalians. A prayer for the power of the Spirit among the people of God. Let us pray. God of all power and love, we give thanks for your unfailing presence and the hope you provide in times of uncertainty and loss. Send your Holy Spirit to enkindle in us your holy fire. Revive us to live as Christ's body in the world, a people who pray worship, learn, break bread, share life, heal neighbors, bear good news, seek justice, rest and grow in the spirit. Wherever and however we gather, unite us in common prayer and send us in common mission that we and the whole creation might be restored and renewed through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I ento sum pleus, I tain himeron, tes pentecostes, eson pontes, homu epito auto. I agenito afno, ectu uranu, echos. Hosper ferumenes pnoes biaias, kai e plerosen holonton oitron, hu eisan kathemenoi. Und es erschienen ihnen Zungen, zerteilt, wie von Feuer. Und er setzte sich auf einen jeglichen unter ihnen, und sie wurden alle voll des Heiligen Geistes und fingen an zu predigen, mit anderen Zungen nachdem der Geist ihnen gab, auszusprechen. Staying in Jerusalem were God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment, because each one heard their own language being spoken. Totalement stupéfait, ils ont demandé, n'est-ce que pas tout ce qui parle en Galiléon? Alors, comment se fait-il que chacun de nous les entend dans notre langue maintenant? Perthians, Medes, and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. Udivlonia i rastiernia, anisprasoli drug druga, 
Что это значит? И некоторые же посмеивались. Они напились молодого вина. Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. Ala, tuto estin, to erimenon diatu profeto ioeo, kai estai entais escatais hemerais le hotheo, enkeo apo tu pneumatosnu, epiba sans sarca. Kai profeteo susin hoi huioi humo, kai hoi thugateras humo, kai hoi neaniskoi humo, horases opsonta, kai hoi presbuteroi humo, enupniois enupnias the sontai, kai get epitus dulus mu. Kai epitas dulas mu entais hemerais ekenes enkeo apoto pnevmatas mu kai profeteo susin. Und ich will Wunder tun oben im Himmel und Zeichen unten auf Erden, Blut und Feuer und Rauchdampf. Die Sonne soll sich verkehren in Finsternis und der Mond in Blut. Pero todos los que invoquen al nombre del Señor alcanzarán la salvación. Let us read the psalm responsibly by whole verse. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the great and wide sea with its living things too many to number, creatures both small and great. There move the ships, and there is that leviathan, which you have made for the sport of it. All of them look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good things. You hide your face, and they are terrified. You take away their breath, and they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, and they are created. And so you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in all his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May these words of mine please him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter to the Corinthians. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given the, through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the discernment of spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. All of these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually, just as the Spirit chooses. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, 
so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. Hear what the spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, o Christ. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive. For as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us pray. Most Holy Christ, speak to us this day, and may we have ears to hear. Amen. More than 100,000 people have now died from the coronavirus in the United States alone. George Floyd was murdered in Minneapolis last week, yet another victim of hate and racism and fear. People are protesting in the streets in Minneapolis and Louisville and Seattle and across the nation, demanding justice, dignity, pleading for black people to be allowed to live. There has been so much in the news and on social media that it is overwhelming. 
But the other day, I saw this simple statement from a black colleague of mine, whom I respect tremendously, and all it said was this, stop killing black people. It has been a heavy week in the midst of many heavy weeks. I don't know about you, but my heart is weary. On a feast day in which we renew our baptismal covenant, the division and conflict in our nation loom large. Today on Pentecost, we will once again promise to respect the dignity of every human being no matter the color of their skin or the news channel they choose to watch or whether or not they wear a mask at the grocery store. All people are worthy of our dignity and our respect, even when that is really, really hard. We will also affirm our promise with God's help to persevere in resisting evil and whenever we fall into sin to repent and return to the Lord. Today I ask that we all take a hard look at our corporate sins of racism and prejudice. We are all guilty. If you have any doubt, prayerfully consider the senseless murders of black women and men in our country in just the past few months. Murdered while jogging. Murdered while sleeping. Murdered while being arrested for a minor and nonviolent offense. In a world in which people with white skin like me live and move in an entirely different reality than those with dark skin, we are all complicit and we cannot ignore it any longer. Our presiding Bishop Michael Curry calls us tomorrow to a day of mourning and lament for all who have died during this pandemic. It is primarily for those who have died of the coronavirus, but we cannot forget the many others who have died as well. Those who have died of poverty, of systemic racism, of hunger and hate. The effects of this pandemic are far reaching and expose the vast inequalities of our nation in a way that make it impossible to look away. What do we do with all of this pain, lament, and anger? Scripture says, when the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting, divided tongues as a fire appeared among them. And a tongue rested on each of them. Gathered together in one place. Devoting themselves to prayer. Waiting for God's promises to be fulfilled. And then, suddenly, the Holy Spirit came. She came like the rush of a violent wind and filled the place where they were sitting. The Holy Spirit comes and has the power to transcend difference. She sustains. She renews. She inspires. Pentecost captures our hearts and imaginations because it gives us hope. The Holy Spirit arrived and transcended multiple layers of differences to accomplish God's many purposes. Let it be the same today. On that day, so long ago, the promise of the Holy Spirit got 120 people to drop what they were doing and gather to wait for it. 
A crowd gathered to wait for God to show up. Then the Holy Spirit came rushing in with the power of a mighty wind, and each person was able to speak and hear in many languages. The Holy Spirit's power got the attention of the crowd gathered outside. Maybe it was the wind or the speaking in tongues. Whatever it was, God spoke to them. The Spirit emboldened Peter to speak to the masses, and they received his words. And on that day, 3,000 people chose to follow Jesus. That is what we remember as we celebrate this feast day. We remember the power of the Holy Spirit to transcend multiple layers of differences to accomplish God's many purposes. As we renew our baptismal promises today, I urge you to act on them. Consider how the power of the Holy Spirit moves in your life. How does she embolden you to transcend multiple layers of differences, even when it is hard, especially when it is difficult, particularly when the conversations are tough? Confront racism when you see it. Say something. Talk to your children about what is happening in our country Examine your own privilege. And if you think you don't have privilege, dig deeper. Our invitation this day is to do our own work and make this world a better place for all of God's people. going to close by sharing a poem that is a prayer written this past week by Lutheran pastor Casey Hahn. 12.52 a.m., keeping vigil while Minneapolis burns orange hot Pentecost rage. And disenfranchised collective trauma melt at 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit the same as steel and silence. 2020 is coming into clearer focus, no need to social distance from the truth. Racism kills. Misinformation kills. Systemic structures of greed kill. White tears kill. We have too much evidence to ignore numbers, statistics, stories, video. Why need more? Could you please pray with me? But for the love of all things, just know not take a knee. You can stand, sit, or lay as close to the earth as you can, as if you are listening for her heartbeat, but do not kneel. I should not have to explain why. Black bodies are sacred and holy. George Floyd is not a hashtag. He is a child of God. George is your brother, your uncle, your friend, your lover, your neighbor. George is my son. Say it again. George is my son, my brother, my uncle, my friend, my lover, my friend. Until we see this, feel this, know this, we too will continue to die. My chest is tight, but I can breathe, and I can pray, and I can whisper into the night with complete confidence, Black Lives Matter. Amen. Dear people of God, in holy baptism, we have been made part of that great fellowship of believers in all times and places, the communion of saints. In baptism, God has adopted us as children and made us members of Christ's body and inheritors of God's kingdom with the saints in light. Let us, therefore, renew the vows of our baptism 
by which God has made us a holy people? Do you reaffirm your renunciation of evil and renew your commitment to Jesus Christ? I do. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, and the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? I will, God. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people? and respect the dignity of every human being. I will, God's help. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed upon us the forgiveness of sins, keep us in eternal life by his grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. the power of the Spirit, who comforts us while we are unable to gather under one roof, we offer the deep yearnings of our hearts to God, praying, Spirit of the living God, come close and hear our prayer. For the Church, that it may serve as a beacon of hope to a suffering world, we pray for all who minister in your name in this time of new challenges. Spirit of the living God, Come close and hear our prayer. For the leaders of the nations of the world, 
that they may work together for the common good. Erase the barriers that divide us so bonds of trust may be strengthened that benefit the whole human family. Spirit of the living God, help and close and hear our prayer. Heal those who are sick with COVID-19. Grant them with your healing grace. Give strength to those who are caring for family and friends. Bless scientists and researchers around the world as they create a vaccine. Spirit of the living God, come close and hear our prayer. For those who have already lost loved ones to the virus and to those who will suffer such loss, that they may know the consolation of your love. Spirit of the living God, come close and hear our prayer. Remove the presence of fear and anxiety from our hearts, that confident in your providence we may be generous in sharing our resources. Be present with parents working from home and caring for children, and with those who are unemployed and struggling financially. Spirit of the living God, come close and hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others, especially Dorothy Ann, Carolyn, Marin, Ray, Kathy, Norm, Donna, Bev, Daphne, those who are unemployed, the hungry, and the homeless, and those we now name either silently or aloud. Spirit of the living God, come close and hear our prayer. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life, especially for the thunderstorm and rain today. God's love, a safe home, a good job, online worship, our church family, first responders, and healthcare workers. And we invite your thanksgivings either silently or aloud. Spirit of the living God, come close and hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died in the hope of the resurrection and those whose faith is known to you alone. We remember especially James, George Floyd, those who have died from the coronavirus, and all those who have died of gun violence, and those we now name either silently or aloud. Spirit of the living God, come close and hear our prayer. Keep us, good Lord, under the care of your Holy Spirit. Sustain and support us in our trials and remind us that nothing can separate us from your love. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may be alive in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins for the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us with gladness present the offerings and oblations of our life and labor to the Lord. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving as I proclaim your resurrection. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul, since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood. Come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Jesus and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you, and you in me, in this life, and in the life to come. Amen. May Almighty God, who enlightened the minds of the disciples by pouring out upon them the Holy Spirit, make you rich with his blessing, that you may abound more and more in that spirit forever. Amen. May God, who sent the Holy Spirit as a flame of fire that rested upon the heads of the disciples, burn out all evil from your hearts and make them shine with the pure light of his presence. Amen. May God, who by the Holy Spirit caused those of many tongues to proclaim Jesus as Lord, strengthen your faith and send you out to bear witness to him in word and deed. Amen and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. And also with you. Be seated. Let us pray. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
Good morning, St. John's. Just a few announcements for you today. Following this service on the Feast of Pentecost at 1130, we are having our first ever Sunday morning Zoom coffee hour for 45 minutes. So at 1130, you can check your Friday e-news if you uh, haven't seen it and you can get the Zoom login information. We are going to gather that way virtually and recognize the April and May birthdays and anniversaries that we did not get a chance to celebrate together in person. And then we will try the breakout room feature so that you can visit with one another in small groups and say hello and have a little bit of socialization that we miss so much from our wonderful coffee hour time together. So we are hoping to try this about once a month. Uh, so try it today and see, uh, see how it is. Hope to see you at 1130. Also, the new St. John the Baptist t-shirts are uh, fantastic, and they are available to order through the Bonfire website. Links have been included in recent e-news letters from the office. A special email will go out on Monday with all of the information, and this is your last chance. The deadline is Wednesday, I believe, so please order yours today, and they will be shipped directly to your house. And the final announcement for today is that Next week, June 7th, we will not be filming a service here because Bishop Rickle and the diocesan staff are filming a special diocesan-wide service. Watch the E! News for information on how to view that service. It will be available in uh, many different ways on YouTube and Facebook in different formats. And this is a special opportunity for us to, rem to remember that we are all in this together and to give clergy and staff and our worship team uh, a week off um, after so many weeks of putting together uh, these worship videos for you. We are looking for, forward to a little bit of respite ourselves and a chance to worship um, by viewing this service led by our bishop as well. Um, so that's it for this week. We look forward to seeing you again, either at drive through prayers or in the Zoom coffee hour. Hello, St. John the Baptist. This invitation is for June 1st, for Monday or for any day this week. As we mark the death of 100,000 people in the U.S. from COVID-19, an unprecedented group of over 100 national faith leaders from Christian, Jewish, and Muslim traditions representing major denominations, national faith-based organizations, local congregations, and millions of people of faith across the country call for a national day of mourning and lament. Together, they look to federal, state, and local elected officials to observe Monday, June 1st, as a national day of mourning and lament, a day marked by moments of silence, lowering of flags, interfaith vigils, ringing of bells, and civic memorials. Presiding Bishop Michael Curry says, I encourage Episcopalians to join with other people of faith this weekend to grieve and honor those who have died from COVID-19. Let this tragic moment not pass without us honoring the many among us who have lost their lives or lost their loved ones and commending them and ourselves to God's love and peace. Although we at St. John the Baptist cannot gather to remember the 100,000 people in the U.S. who've died from COVID-19, we invite you to pause and pray at a time of your choosing. And as you are able, come here to the memorial garden outside the church and leave a flower or a rock as a symbol of your prayers. <laughs> 